you never know what you'll find in your own back garden. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most incredible and horrifying things unearthed in Britain. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at remarkable and unsettling things that have been found buried in the UK. Number 10. Iron Age Grave An extremely rare grave belonging to an Iron Age warrior was uncovered in West Sussex in early 2020. Graves of this kind aren't often seen in southern England, which was what made this discovery near Chichester so exciting. Though the warrior's skeleton had decayed completely since it was roughly 2,000 years old, many interesting artifacts were still found in the grave, including a series of ancient pots and some weapons. The weapons were especially exciting and included decorated swords and shields. It's clear from the items found in the grave that this warrior was important and celebrated, given an honorable burial. Only time will tell if archaeologists can uncover any more information. Number 9. Crude Chamber Part Work on Crossrail, a new line of the London Underground, has been ongoing since 2009, and in the process of construction, many excavations have been carried out. These excavations have found hundreds of bizarre, lost objects, many of which have been put on display in the Museum of London. One of the funniest and weirdest finds was a Victorian chamber pot unearthed at Stepney Green which features a crude illustration nobody wants to see when they're going to the toilet. Also found during the Crossrail project was a jawbone of a medieval mouse, an ancient Roman medallion, and victims of the Black Death. Number 8. Hadrian's Wall Graffiti In North England, the Roman Emperor Hadrian built a wall stretching across the country from the Irish Sea to the North Sea. It was constructed in the 2nd century AD, and much of it still stands today. At some point in the 3rd century, Roman soldiers responsible for repairing the wall decided to carve some graffiti into a nearby quarry. Some choice pieces of graffiti gave a rare insight into the sense of humor of the Romans. Caricatures of their commanding officer were etched into the stone, along with plenty of fallacies. Some things never change. Number 7. The Theatre First constructed in the 1570s, the theatre was so named because it was, at the time, the first and only permanent theatre in all of England. Acting troops, the Lord Chamberlain's Men and the Admiral's Men, which were the companies of famed playwrights William Shakespeare and Christopher Marlowe respectively, both staged plays at the theatre. The theatre was lost when it was covertly dismantled by Shakespeare's players after a falling out with the landlord, and the wood was used to construct the globe. In 2008, over 400 years later, its original foundations were finally uncovered in Hackney and it became the borough's first ancient monument. Number 6. The Witch's Ring 1597 saw hundreds of Scottish women tried for witchcraft in what became the Great Scottish Witch Hunt. In 2016, one church in Aberdeen, where witch trials took place, St. Mary's Chapel, was found to possess an artifact used to restrain witches put on trial. Though the object, a metal ring set in stone, doesn't seem special at first glance, the so-called witch's ring was built for this grisly purpose. They were chained to the wall by a small ring, and some were even tortured into confessing. It's thought that it might have been the last place many accused witches ever saw before being led to their deaths. Number 5. Headless Gladiators In 2005, over 80 skeletons were uncovered in York, many of which had been decapitated and were buried with their heads. Since then, archaeologists have been arguing about just who the skeletons are. They were almost all male and had sustained many traumatic injuries, leading to speculation that they were Roman gladiators. Further evidence supporting the gladiator theory is that at least one of them belonged to a man from the Middle East rather than native Britain, and another had sustained a lion bite, most likely from fighting in a Roman arena. The debate is ongoing, but new technology may give us the answers yet. Number 4. A Car Yorkshireman John Brayshaw got more than he bargained for when he decided to do a spot of landscaping in the spring of 2020. 
To his great surprise, he found a vintage car had been buried in its entirety in his back garden. Though it had deteriorated significantly, it's believed the car is a 1950s Ford Popular. For a while, the reason anybody would want to bury a whole car remained elusive. The best explanation is that the car was buried because, at the time, it would have been more expensive to send it to scrap than just keeping it, so it was disposed of in a much more creative and frugal way. Number 3. Richard III For hundreds of years, the whereabouts of King Richard III of England was not known. That all changed in 2012 when a car park in Leicester which used to be a church, was excavated in the hope of finding his body. Eventually, archaeologists announced that one skeleton found in the excavation had severe scoliosis, which Richard III was known to have. It was this skeleton that was ultimately identified as belonging to the lost king thanks to DNA analysis. The body was later reinterred at Leicester Cathedral, where the tomb was viewed by members of the public until he was finally laid to rest. Number 2. Mutilated Corpses People held many strange superstitions in medieval times, including the worry that the dead might rise from their graves and hurt the living. It's believed that this is the reasoning behind mutilated corpses dug up in the deserted medieval village of Warren Percy in North Yorkshire. Injuries found on bodies uncovered at the site are consistent with the idea that they could return as zombies. They were found to have been burned, decapitated, and chopped up. Even more disturbing is that some of those bodies belong to young children. But it could be said that because the corpses never wandered away, the gruesome ritual worked. Number 1. Bella in the Witch Elm In 1943, the skeleton of a young woman was found stuck inside a tree trunk in Hagley Woods. She was believed to have died in 1941, though how she got inside the tree has never been understood. In 1944, ominous graffiti asking who put Bella in the witch elm appeared nearby, and every time the graffiti has been removed it reappears. To this day, the woman is unidentified, we don't even know where the name Bella came from. Theories range from her being a lost German spy to a human sacrifice to a genuine witch. Weirder still, both the skeleton and original autopsy reports have gone missing since, never to be found. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.